guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm doing my next installment in my declutter series so today we're looking at all the blushes and bronzers that I am decluttering from my collection if you missed my original video in this series I will have that linked below I'm gonna make a playlist out of all the videos if you are new here and you love these sorts of videos and other general sort of beauty videos then don't forget to subscribe as well and without further ado we will get started so let's begin with bronzers the first bronzer I decided to get rid of um, is one that I never thought I would ever declutter from my collection, but it is my NARS Laguna bronzer. I used to love this bronzer, and this used to be one that I'd recommend as a really good bronzer for fair skin, because at the time, this was one of, like, the only really good bronzers out there. Like, there weren't many bronzers in general on the market that had a more sort of cooler undertone anyway, that did suit my cooler complexion. But also there just weren't really bronzers tailored to fair skin. Yeah, basically there was always like one or two shades available. But in the last couple of years brands have really expanded a lot in the shade ranges of their complexion products. And I've noticed, especially with bronzers, they now do like sort of four or five different shades, you know, across it. So there's some for very fair skin tone and some for deep skin tones and that. And I think that's awesome. Therefore, I just found myself reaching less and less for this. And when I did use it, I'd be like, oh, it doesn't look as good as my other ones. So there just simply isn't any point in me keeping this anymore. And I know that I've got friends that would adore to receive this. It is quite old, so it's not really something I could donate, but I'm sure a friend would be happy to have it. And on that note, I'm also going to get rid of the matte version. So this is the Nars Laguna bronzer, but from the, I think it's called the Sunwash bronzer. So this is the matte version. Um, it is, I think, I think this one was a little better actually for fair skin. I enjoyed it actually a bit more in the end, but I'm still trying to be quite ruthless and just keep my collection to ones I really truly love. Um, and so this one I decided to let go as well. I'm also going to get rid of this um, De designer brand's Brilliant Skin Bronzer and Illuminated Duo. So this is actually a bronzer and highlighter in one, and this is in the shade Warm Glow. The bronzer in this is actually quite a nice color. Like it's kind of like Benefit um, Hula Light. It's quite a warm toned, fair, um, matte bronzer. The reason I'm getting rid of this is I do have other bronzers that are very similar. The Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and Light Bronzer is quite similar. And I don't really like the highlight in this one. It was very sort of chunky and not very nice to work with. I loved the layout and the idea of this. In fact, it's got a nice big mirror. So like the packaging's really cool. It's quite sleek for designer brands, which is a more affordable brand. But I just don't need it. I just have too many that are very similar. I'm also going to get rid of my Tarte Park Avenue Princess bronzer. Now again, I did really enjoy this and really liked it. I thought it was a bronzer that did work pretty well for fair skin, and especially if you use a light hand. The undertone's really beautiful on this one. It's a little bit more on the neutral cool side. But I just feel, again, like I've got too many bronzers and I am typically leaning more away from matte bronzers. I, I sort of prefer in general ones that have a little bit of a sheen and this is a purely matte bronzer. So I've got other ones I would prefer to use, so I just decided this could get a much better home. I'm also getting rid of this Marinesse Collagen Cushion Custom Color Face Glow in the shade Caramel. So this is one of those kind of like cushion products that have the two shades and you kind of mush them together and use it. I do love like cushion bronzers. I love the L'Oreal Glam Bronze one. I had to order it from the UK, but it's a really cool product. This one I wasn't as big of a fan of, and it's a pretty expensive product. I didn't feel like it was any better than my Glam Bronze, so I'd rather keep that one. Um, Marinese as well is a bit of an interesting company. I find some of their sales tactics to be a little bit um, aggressive and a bit like... They're not an MLM, but it has that kind of tender, like, vibe. I don't know. I just... I'm just not a big fan, although I adore their color correcting primer so it's really annoying that they make a really good product like that because as a company I'm not a big fan of them but I do like that color correcting primer. I'm also getting rid of this little bronzer and I'll show you the blush as well it's from the same line. Now if I'm really honest I can't remember the brand because it's not on the back. These are meant to be like little infills. It's an Australian affordable brand. It got sent to me in PR and most of the stuff that was in there I was like I didn't enjoy. Like I was swatching it, tried it out and I was like nah, not, not for me. But I did keep these and these are actually really nice like products but the but it's just the fact that they're little like refill packets and the actual customizable palette thing it came with was useless. So once I put these into my collection, they sat there for a few weeks completely unused. I never wanted to use them and I was like, these are much better off going to a, a, a new home. They've only been very lightly used. Um, also, this is not a bronzer, but it's a more like a contour product. I'm going to get rid of my Illamasqua Cream Pigment in Hollow. This is one that is just quite old. I've had this for many, many years. It is a cream product. It's gotten a little bit stiffer and harder to to work with over the years 
um, I love the color of it I would recommend this it's a good product but it's just a little bit old and I have now I realized about five or six different cream contouring products like I've really been on a bit of a bandwagon with that and in general I prefer cream contouring products that come in a stick form because it's just so much easier just go boom and then blend it out whereas this is like in a little pottle it's probably better for like a makeup artist I guess to use but um, yeah I just didn't need this in my collection anymore so then we're moving on to blushes I'm getting rid of all of these BH cosmetics blushes I remember even when I hauled them I was like a bit underwhelmed with them and I was like I reckon these will end up in a declutter um, I kept them to see whether I would use them more and enjoy them more but I just like I think I used each of them maybe like two more times my favorite color out of the three was definitely Caribbean or Caribbean coral um, it's just a really nice sort of pink and peach so this one I did probably use a bit more but I just don't yeah I just didn't love it I just kind of meh I mean uh, there's a reason that I haven't heard many people talk about these because I think they're just a bit of a meh product um, not a lot wrong with them but just not something that like I'd rather keep my other blushes that are in my collection so these ones are going to a new home I'm also getting rid of this bourgeois le duo blush and I got this at the Priceline beauty prescription earlier in the year I was really excited about it because the idea was that they're like little macaroons but man the reason I'm getting rid of this is it smells like an old lady like talcum powder it is so fragrant that it is an almost nauseating. Like, I actually think the colour is beautiful. I don't know why they put a mirror in there because it's pretty useless. Um, and the brush, even though it is pretty cute, is, is pretty small. But, the, like, the colour is gorgeous and it's a shimmery blush, but I just couldn't get past the fragrance and I would find myself opening it and being like, nope, I'm <laughs> putting it back. So I'm going to pass that one on to someone that likes fragrance. I'm also getting rid of my Essence Matte Touch Blush in Rose Me Up and the reason is because the packaging on this one is broken. I might repurchase this one at some stage but yeah it's just annoying it would fall apart in my drawer and I do have some of these like kind of neutrally nothingless blushes still in my collection. This one actually reminds me a lot of the NARS um, Olympia Contouring Duo that I mentioned recently in a different video. Um, that's a very similar color to that so I don't really need to keep both in this one because it's broken. I'll get rid of that. I'm also going to get rid of my Benefit Benny Tint. I got sent this in PR. I never wanted to really purchase this. I was happy to receive it because it was like a nice chance to try it out because I never had really felt the need to put my own money into it. But as I expected, it wasn't something that really worked with my lifestyle. I found it very actually difficult to use, which was quite funny because Benefit really has a bit of a philosophy of like having kind of foolproof makeup, like that's their idea. Um, but I think they sometimes go a bit too far and gimmicky. I just found this very like an inconvenience to use, like you'd have to kind of dab it on the back of your hand and then use a brush so you didn't put too much because if you dab it straight on your cheek, you get stripes and it's just like, it's way more of an effort than it's worth. And I would rather just use like a cushion blush or a cream blush if I was gonna do that kind of non-powder blush thing. But there's no point in me holding on to that. It's still, it's actually not that old. Like I think it's only about a year old. So someone else would be able to get some use out of it. I'm also getting rid of another one of these um, designer brands, Compacts. This is a blush duo though. It's for the same sort of reason. Um, the highlighter in it is just so like, just unusably chalky therefore I don't reach for it because I if I'm gonna reach for a palette I like to kind of use a couple of things out of it that's the whole point is that it's like convenient I wouldn't travel with it because the highlight is crap but the blush is beautiful so it's really quite disappointing I think if they'd spent a little bit more time to formulate the highlighter like they had in their at one point oh, it was over the holiday season they had that lovely like four pan highlighter palette and they had such good texture those highlighters were amazing but this, this is not the same formula and it's just very chalky so um, there's just no point in me holding on to this one. And finally, the last blush I'm going to declutter, you guys will probably be quite surprised about, and it's the Tarte Blush and Expose. This is one of the most beautiful colours of blush that exists in the world. Honestly, it's gorgeous. However, it hits hard pans so bad that I'm constantly scraping it, and it just doesn't really give a good colour payoff. Like, the actual shade is beautiful, but, like, I look at that. Like, I can't even get... I have to, like, literally go like this, and then be like... Okay, there we go. <laughs> There's the color. So it just is too much for paint to use. And I've since discovered a couple of dupes um, that are close enough to it to give the right idea that I just don't need to hold on to this anymore. I am going to do, I'm going to hold on to it long enough so that I can do my dupes video, but it will be one that doesn't go back into my like proper collection. And I will pass it on. I probably will even throw it out because it's not really that usable. Just such a shame because that color is so lovely, but it's just the formulas kind of 
yeah not very good that is my video for today i hope you enjoyed seeing the products i'm getting rid of and why and i'm very excited to share my collection with you in a few weeks time so as i said earlier make sure you are subscribed to get notified of my new uploads you can you can click the bell as well although these days we never know whether the bell actually does anything i do upload every second day so if you're not seeing my uploads it's probably a youtube issue so just make sure you check back to my channel page if you haven't seen me for a while <laughs> so once again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye.